Good morning YouTube, it's Lewis with Rosebud's Travels and I want to show you the entire closet kit. Uh, we're going to try to install this this morning in Clear Sphinx Campground in Texarkana. So it consists of the five shelves, the base unit, and in this case Frank has put a base platform in at the proper height and I'm providing this the base piece that goes at the bottom and the five shelves. These are the spacing blocks that go behind the door jam. And then we've got some other temp temporary spacers just to hold up the shelves on the other side. The entire screw kit is right there. Those are all the screws that are necessary. I use pocket screws in these uh, to hold them in place behind the jam. They could be done with just a regular screw and a countersink. I just used pocket screws because I had a pocket screw a tool and the screws, and I just decided to do that. But it could, like I said, it could be done with countersunk. So we're going to get started trying to install it. So it's it. this is cut off of our pattern, which is done on a 2019, and Frank's is also 2019, so we're going to see how it works. Before we get started, I want to talk to you about the simplicity of the design. This, I got this idea after looking at the table on the Spirit Deluxe and how it wedges against the side of the casita. This closet shelving system basically does the same thing. It's basically kind of wedged into the closet and uses the shape of the casita to support itself. As I've just laid out, you can see it has five shelves, it has a base unit, it has the pieces that support the shelves behind the door, and then there are some temporary supports. So what this basically amounts to is you basically stack the shelves one on top of the other with the blocks holding them temporarily in place. And then once you get them stacked and in place, you screw the blocks that are behind the door in place, so they stay in place. And then you apply the strip that goes on the back of the shelf. It, it, it's on the front of the back part of the shelf. And you screw through that to attach that take off the temporary blocks, and you're done. So the unit can come in and out of the casita uh, pretty easily. You basically do the reverse of what I just said. So um, it's one of the most simple designs I've seen. And it has been on many trips, holds up great, works well, and it's just, it's very, very simple. So to get started, what we do is we take the door off of the closet. And when you do that, the 1x4 that is on the back side that holds the door on basically falls away. Because the only thing that holds it there are the screws in the hinges to the door. And then the next step is to put a platform that we can use as our base for stacking the shelves. This platform does have to be at a particular height with the sizes that we use for our shelves. It is height dependent. Now, Frank put a base in here that is going underneath the base that we're applying because he wanted to put a hatch door and so what he's going to do is cut a hole in the piece we're adding and then cut a smaller hole in his piece and then it'll have support for the hatch so 
this Frank has installed the base piece at the proper height and then we're going to install the our base piece now what I found out is all casitas are not the same shape this one the outside curve is a little different on this one and at the back this is a liberty and for the base we had to cut an inch off the back to make the curve work so now we have the first shelf stuck in place and we have the same issue with the outside curve but the back fits really nicely so that's good so we'll continue stacking these shelves in and we should get them all in we actually had to cut the back of the base piece and we had to cut the back of the first shelf and then after that all of the other shelves did go in place now we do recommend um, even if you're if you use our template to make the shelves that you make some cardboard templates of the shelves because as we found out each casita is different this is a 2019 Liberty and ours is a 2019 spirit they were picked up about a month apart from each other so they're basically uh, in the same time period so as you can see there's going to be variation so to get if you want your shelves to fit uh, precisely I would recommend doing um, cardboard templates you can cut out the you can use our our templates to cut the cardboard out and then you can modify the size of the shelves so you know you can get a good fit so we just continue taking the shelves putting the two blocks in place and stacking them one on top of the other all the way up in Frank's casita um, and we're going to stack them we're going to get everyone in place before we uh, attach them because um, I mean that's just the best way to do it you stack them up like a tower and then you can then attach them after you get them stacked as you can see we've got them all stacked and actually we have cut the hatch in the bottom of the base piece uh, and Frank has cut out we well we both did cut out the hatch piece and then he applied the hinge and the little knob and he can lift that up and it goes underneath that first shelf so it allows him to get below and access the uh, space down below and so that's basically how the closet goes together it's it basically there's a base piece at a given height so your shelves fall out at the heights that we have calculated work with our particular plan and then you basically stack them up and uh, and once you get them stacked we've taken out the temporary blocks we've screwed the blocks in uh, behind the door now the door can be reattached and um, the shelf unit is ready ready to be used and um, it's very simple it just basically stacks and the piece at the back holds it up in the back part and it's basically wedged into the closet so that's how the closet system works also now uh, Frank and I have used this closet many many 
uh, months, uh, and we've gone on several trips. Um, both of us have gone on several trips and used our closets. So we know they work and they hold up well and they're very functional and as you can see it allows for hanging use also and um, we actually store all of our clothes in our closet and then shelving the uh, hanging you the use allows us to hang coats and other uh, shirts that are that we may not want to uh, fold up into our regular clothes but the the closet has gone on many many trips holds up very very well even though it's very very simple with very little support see you in the next video